Hi, I'm Michael Mondragon from Nerdy Connections. Today we're going to learn about Adobe PDF conversion. So let's see what that's all about. So this is Adobe PDF conversion. Uh, a lot of times when I'm doing an EPS file or an InDesign file, uh, my clients do not have these programs. So I need a universal way that they can see them, uh, print them, and PDF is the way to go because it's a very flexible format and you can see and use these files for proofs or printing and it's as easy as this and I have a 8.5 by 11 uh, illustrator file and I can actually go here and I'm going to save as and when I do the dialog box comes up and I can actually make this a PDF. So let's go ahead and push save and when we do we get the PDF dialog box here and this actually has a lot of flexibility in it and I can set it to the Illustrator default but actually I want to make it press quality. So I can make it a high quality print as well if I'm going to use this for t-shirt graphics or a print ad but press quality is the most universal that I usually use. I can make it the smallest size, but what it'll do is it'll strip it out if it's if it has JPEGs or anything in it. So actually, press quality is going to be my best option here. You have some compression, marks and bleeds, and this is a little bit more advanced for what we're doing right now. So let's just keep it at the default settings. I can make the settings here if I wanted to save a preset uh, of what I'm doing so it comes up later I would do that here but for the purposes of what we're learning we're going to just make it a PDF so I'm going to save PDF from here and I want to view the PDF after saving so I save PDF and there's my PDF and when I send this to my client, he or she can open it up and look at it and proof it and send it back to me and say that looks good or take this file to a service bureau and make the copies that they need made. So this is Adobe PDF conversion.